So, you want to be a model? Well, you've come to the right place. Class is in session. Modeling is the art form of expression through the body, the eyes, and the soul. In other words, you need to convey that whatever you're wearing or whatever product you're selling is the product the audience needs. But you know that already. That's not what you're here for. So let's throw that away. You're here because you want to know how to become a model. So let's get started. Lesson number one. Do your research and find your niche. There are so many different types of modeling right now. Petite, curved, plus, fitness, tall, even hand modeling. Yeah, I said it. You can just model with body parts. Do you know? Can you do nail polish ads? Hey, I see you judging my nails. We're in quarantine. Times are rough. Let's continue. Lesson number two. Get to know modeling agencies. Trust me on this. A lot of them are having open calls. And right now, especially right now and this time, a lot of them are doing virtual open calls, which means you can submit to an agency from the comfort of your own home. What's your excuse now? Trust me, I was freelancing for two years before I got signed. And it wasn't until I was signed that I started actually working and making money and making this like a full-time job. A few notable agencies are Ford Models, Next Models, Red Models, Wilhelmina Models, and if you're in LA, Freedom Models, which I'm with and I love them. Now, before we continue, I think it's very important that I tell you the difference between a mother agent and a modeling agent. A mother agent is usually much smaller than a modeling agency. They help you learn the industry, build your portfolio, and also pitch you to different markets, such as London, Tokyo, Paris, any market that you may fit in. For example, I'm signed in Los Angeles, New York, Miami, Cape Town, London, and Germany, and it's all through my mother agent. They're kind of like your manager. Now your modeling agency works with clients. Their job is to push you to the clients and get you booked and busy. Your modeling agency sends you to casting, manages your portfolio, and is usually the person you're talking to on the day to day. Okay, let's move on. Lesson number three, take the right photo. And I cannot stress this enough. Take the right photo. <laughs> Modeling agencies want to see what you really look like. They want simple, clean, clear images of you, which is what we call in the industry, digitals. Hmm. I could probably make a video on how to properly take digitals. Lord knows I've taken many digitals in my days. Let me know, I got you. Lesson number four. Make sure your socials match. It's 2020 guys, and social media is booming. For example, you're here right now watching this video on guess what? Social media. So use it. Do you have a favorite model? If not, find one. Study their Instagram. Look at what kind of pictures they're posting and try to do your own version of that. One thing that I found work well are selfies. Find good lighting in your house, stand in front of a window, get a beauty light, whatever you have to do. Take amazing selfies and make sure to keep the makeup minimal because we want you to book those skincare and beauty campaigns. Because girl, trust me, that's where the money is. The money is all in beauty, you know? Also, outfit pictures. Trust me on this. What you do is you find brands that you want to work with. You study their socials and kind of like how they shoot their stuff and then you get the outfits and then you shoot in their stuff. So you create content for them and then tag them. Make sure to tag them in the picture as well as the caption. Sometimes they see it and you never know. It might just lead to a booking and it might just be a big break. I've seen it happen. Over the last few years, social media has grown so much. I've seen people, I, we've all seen people's career and lives change in an instant. So. Definitely use it, but make sure you're putting out quality content and make sure that it matches your overall goal. 
Lesson number five. And I will say this is probably one of the most important lessons. Be patient and don't give up. I'm going to say that one more time for the people in the back. Be patient and don't give up. With any other field, we expect for it to take time, sometimes years. However, when it comes to modeling, we just want it to happen overnight. What? Come on guys, this shit takes time. Trust me, it took me two years to get signed and I didn't start making money until year three, like end of year three going on year four. And now I'm so glad that I haven't quit Modeling has helped me take care of my family and the states and that home. And my whole life has changed because of it. But it took time, it took consistency, persistence. It took a lot of freaking no's. Speaking of no's, you should know that if you want to model, act, do music, or anything that's creative, you're going to hear a lot of no's. That's okay. It's a part of it. The journey is filled with up and downs and lots of no's. There are gonna be times when you wanna give up. You might be feeling this way right now, which is why you're watching this video. But trust me, believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself and you don't take no for an answer, you will keep going. Do it for future you. No one is gonna do it but you. This shit is not as easy as it looks. I should probably stop this one. It's not an easy field. It looks easy, it looks glamorous, but it takes time, it takes persistence. Even once you're accomplished, you're gonna hear no's. Hearing no's is a part of life. The key is to keep going. There's no such thing as failure if you keep going. This applies for modeling, honestly, anything in life. It's probably the biggest secret of life. Oh, one of them. I probably shouldn't say it's the biggest secret of life. But it's one of them. There's no such thing as failure. Just keep going. And especially now, it's 2020. Guys, there are no requirements anymore. Before, you had to look like this, be 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 there were so many things. Now, it's wide open. Figure out your niche, submit to your agencies, and just be patient and keep working hard. And I promise you, your hard work will pay off. Mine is just starting to pay off. I had to keep going even when I didn't want to. Just one of those things where you can't give up, you know? Create art. There's, we have so many resources right now. Use Google. Google is your friend. YouTube, which is why you're here. But you got this, okay? You got this. If you want this, you got this. You're watching this video right now, which means it's already yours. Just go out there and get it. And on that note, class is completed. Wait, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave comments below, I'll be answering. I love you guys. Until next time.